All right, the next movement we're gonna cover is the deadlift. Now there are two types of deadlifts. There's conventional and sumo deadlift. Conventional deadlift is where the feet are inside the hands, and the sumo deadlift is where the feet are on the outside of the hands. So with our athletes, typically we'll use the conventional deadlift, and we'll go over that first. So the blade is gonna go ahead and approach the bar. Feet underneath the hips, again, whatever is comfortable for you. Again, hands are gonna be outside of the feet. He's gonna go ahead and make sure that the bar is splitting the middle of his foot. That way when he actually drops his hips, it's gonna be in the right spot. From there, he's gonna go ahead and bend down, keeping a neutral spine, he's gonna grab the bar, and he can either go an alternating or a double overhand grip. From here, what he's gonna do is he's gonna drop his hips, the bar is gonna go up against his shins, and he wants to think about pushing through a leg press. He's gonna push through the floor. He also wants to make sure he has a neutral spine and a neutral head position. From there, he's gonna drive through his heels, keeping the bar in close to his body, and he wants to lock out his knees and his hips at the same time, leading with the crown of his head. So Blade's gonna demonstrate three reps of a deadlift. Another common cue is when he gets to the bottom and goes to pull, he wants to make sure he pulls the slack out of the bar. What that is gonna do is it's gonna create tension in the right spots, that being his posterior chain, before he actually breaks the ground with the weight. And that is the deadlift. 